Hey guys, it's Tiffany. Um, thought I'd do a video for the Mother's Day service today for the kiddos. Um, I want to start off by telling you guys how much I love you and I miss you. And I can't wait until we're all together again in church eating our donuts and having our Sunday school lesson. I miss seeing all of your faces every Sunday. I miss you guys so much. And I know we'll be together again soon. I'm very excited about that. But what we're here to talk about today is moms, because guess what? It's Mother's Day. Did any, any of you remember that? I totally remembered it. And I'm so proud of myself. I even got my Mother's Day card bef like last week. So I'm like way proud of myself because I'm way ahead of myself. So I got my mom her card and her gift already. I'm so excited. Um, How many of you told your moms how much you love them so far today? Have any of you done that yet today? It's a really good thing to do that today since it is Mother's Day and all. But, you know, I, I kind of have a couple things I want to talk about. Um, moms have had to take on a really important role, more, much more so lately in our lives. And since we've all been stuck at home in quarantine, I know it's, it's, it's easy to kind of feel like everybody's going a little crazy. And I know moms are feeling that way because... I'm a mom too, and I tend to feel that way quite often sometimes. But you know what? God made us moms amazing. He really did. And he gave us such wonderful coping skills. And he gave us so much love for our family, for our kids, and for our spouses, and for our own parents. That, But you know what? It's really easy to take moms for granted because... They do all this stuff for us all the time that we just we just don't really think about it because mom's going to take care of it and mom's going to do it. So we don't really have to worry about it. So what I want you guys to think about today is how would God have us honor our parents, moms and dads? How What are some of the ways that God would love for us to to show our parents how much we love them? One thing that comes to mind is doing what mom says right away instead of saying, oh, I'll do it later or I don't really feel like doing it right now, mom. I'm busy playing video games or I'm busy doing this. I can't really do it right now. If mom asks you to do something, the sooner you do it, the sooner it's done and the sooner you can get back to doing what you want to do. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, do you think throwing a fit if you don't get your get what you want is a good way to show you? To show your parents that you love them and that you're honoring them? No, that's not a good way to show it. Eating your dinner without complaining and being thankful for having food? That is a way to show your parents that you love them and honor your parents. Complaining about what was cooked for dinner? Not really a good way. Telling your mom that you love her is definitely a way of honoring your mom praying for your mom praying for both your parents during this time because I know a lot of moms and dads are having to work from home and there are some moms and dads who are still having to leave the house to go to work because they have essential jobs that help keep this country running during the pandemic time so praying for our parents is a really big thing that we can do to help them and you know what else is amazing? Telling, when you talk about your parents to other people, telling them all of the good things about your parents, about your mom. Tell people all of the awesome things that your mom does for you and how much you love it and how much you appreciate it. And you know, another good way to show that you honor your mom is just by doing little things for her. You don't always have to say to her, you know, oh, mom, I love you. You're awesome because you do this. You could do little things without being asked. That's like the best thing in the world. Go pick up your toys. Help clean up the dinner dishes after dinner. Help put away the groceries when they come home. Just by doing little things without being asked. Moms love that. Um... You can tell her in so many different ways that you could 
that you appreciate her by saying, oh, you know what? I really like when you read me a book. I love the way you help me when I hurt myself. When I get the owies and you put the medicine on and the band-aid, you just make me feel so much better. I like it when we pray at bedtime before we go to bed. I love it that we pray together. I like when you hug me. I like when you take me shopping. I mean, because after all, don't we all love it when moms take us shopping? Especially when it's to get stuff for us. I mean, come on now. Who doesn't love that? <laughs> but yeah, so those are just several different ways that you can honor your mom today. And you know, it, you don't have to wait until Mother's Day to do it. You could do this all the time. And I know it's so easy for us to get into the routine of just wanting to do our own thing. And, you know, because we do take our moms for granted because no matter what, without fail, every single time they have everything for us that we need. They have food. We have clean clothes. We have a clean house and we have everything we could ever want, toys, everything. And we, we have our mom's love. But you know what? We take that for granted way too much. And we need to show our moms how much we love them and, and appreciate them. So if you haven't done it yet today, I encourage you guys to go give your moms big hugs and tell them how much you love them and that you are so thankful to God for everything that they do for you. Tell, tell them you're thankful to them for all the hard work they put in to make your life better. And, you know, I want to tell you a story about when I was little, about my mom. My, when, when I was little, my, my parents, we weren't rich. We didn't have a big fancy home. We didn't have, I didn't have all the toys I could ever want, like a lot of you kids do. But I had a very loving and amazing family. My mom and dad loved my brother and I so much, and I, I never questioned that for a second. And when I was with my parents, I always felt loved. My, my mom, um, she bought me this dress one year for Christmas, and I hated wearing dresses when I was a little girl. I hated wearing dresses. But she bought me this dress because she wanted me to feel special. She wanted me to really see how the beautiful person I was and to really feel special this, year, this one year for Christmas. So she bought me this beautiful Christmas dress. It was red velvet with white trimming on the sleeves and around the skirt. It looked like a Santa Claus dress. And I hated it. I, and, you know, I absolutely couldn't stand it, didn't want to wear it. I gave her so much grief over that dress. But you know what? I, I wore it. And when I wore it, it made me feel absolutely beautiful. And it made me feel like a princess. And that was her ultimate goal because she loved me and she knew that I needed that boost. And so she bought me that dress when they couldn't really afford to be buying us new fancy clothes like that. Because we, we scraped by. My parents, my dad worked so hard his whole entire life. He still works hard so that my mom could be at home with my brother and I. So she wouldn't have to work. And so that she could just stay home and take care of us. Because my mom homeschooled us. And her life was devoted to us. And she gave they gave up so much just for us. And when she bought me that dress, I, I was too busy not liking it because I didn't like dresses and I was angry because I had to act like a girl and all this and blah, 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 blah. And I didn't really understand the whole reason why she bought me that dress until I put it on and I wore it. And you know, I told her, I told her that night, I said, mommy, I love this dress. Thank you so much for buying it for me. And I love you too. And she had this big grin on her face, and it was just absolutely amazing to see. And you know, every once in a while, she still gives me crap about that dress. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, 
I know I always knew how much my parents loved me and I do everything I can to show my mom how much I love her and how much she's in my heart I, I try to show her that on a daily basis and I think if you guys start doing that now instead of waiting until you're grown up to show your mom how much you appreciate her I think that's gonna help you out now way more and you know God loves it when we honor our parents it just makes God so happy and it gives him the biggest smile and it, it's God's heart to love others anyway that's our biggest calling as Christians to love others and just pour out God's love everywhere on earth and so why not start with our moms and and go out from there I mean that's a perfect place to start so everybody give your moms lots of love today all right love you guys I'll see you next time bye